Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy, and in this video, we're going to solve this lovely algebra problem. So I guess you could say this is algebra word problem because obviously we have words, and the kind of main idea here is we need to translate this verbal problem into an algebraic problem. So let me go ahead and actually read you the problem. It says seven times the sum of a number plus one is 15. What is the number? Okay, so I don't want to give you too many more hints because I want to give you a full opportunity to solve this all on your own. So if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer here in just one second and walk through the solution here step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, uh, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so one more time here. We have seven times the sum of a number plus one. Uh, well, seven times the sum of a number uh, plus one is 15. What's the number? Okay, so that is the question. And let's go ahead and take a look at the answer right now. The number in question is eight sevenths. Okay, so of course I have a variable here, n, but that just represents the unknown uh, number we're looking for. So eight sevenths is the correct answer. Okay, so how'd you do? Well, if you got this right, that's very, very good. Matter of fact, good enough in my book for a happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a few stars. So you could brag to your friends and family that indeed you are an expert in translating a verbal phrase or verbal sentence and that's what we're doing here we're translating from a verbal uh, problem verbal math problem into an algebraic math problem okay so we're going from verbal to algebra more or less and this is an absolute uh, critical skill in order to uh, solve you know various types of algebra word problems so this is going to be the main idea of this video but uh, if you didn't get this right don't panic i'm going to go ahead and explain this right now Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the problem. So as I indicated, you have to be able to kind of read the problem and uh, a couple of things too. One, this is essentially a word problem in algebra. So just general guidelines here, before you start doing anything, at least read the problem three times so you fully understand. But beyond that, what you need is, um, basically you need to uh, understand what words mean and translate uh, verbal words into mathematical uh, statements, more or less. So let's go ahead and just take this one step at a time. So here we have seven times. Okay, so that means what? Well, it means seven times is we're talking about multiplication. So we're going to take seven and we're going to multiply it by something. Now here is uh, probably the part of the problem where a lot of students get confused. So this is seven times the sum the sum of a number plus one. Okay, so this part, or understanding this part of the problem is essential. Okay, so the sum of a number plus one. So anytime you hear the sum or difference, you need to put parentheses around a group. Okay, so this means that there is uh, some number, okay, and we need to come up with a variable for that number, right? So I'm just gonna use the variable n. So n plus one, and then we're gonna put parentheses around it. So seven times the sum of a number, or n plus one, uh, is, now anytime you see the word is, that is always equal to, or the equal sign, is 15. Okay, and of course, what's the number? Uh, what we're really looking for is what is the value of n? So one more time here, so we got seven times the sum of a number plus one is 15. And of course we can um, translate this into an algebraic equation. All right, so here we go. So we got our seven times, so uh, in algebra or in mathematics, you just put a seven next to a parenthesis. This right here means multiplication. So we have seven times the sum. Okay, now again, I have parentheses here. This is the sum of a number plus one. This n is a number. What number? Well, I don't know. Uh, of course, when we solve this equation, we're going to figure out what that number is. So seven times the sum of a number plus one is 15. Okay, so if you understand that, well, that's the first kind of um, 
uh, you know, task, if you will, to solve this problem. So, but if you were able to get this right, but you didn't get the correct answer, well, that tells me that you had a tough time solving this basic linear equation. And uh, if you are having difficulty even at this point in the problem, let me suggest checking out like my pre-algebra course or my algebra one course. I'll, I'll leave the links, uh, direct links to those courses in the description as well. But now the objective here is to solve this equation for n, okay, because n is in fact the number that we're looking for. Okay, so let's go ahead and now solve this equation. So we have seven times n plus one, uh, and parentheses is equal to 15. So our first step here is the distributor property. That's going to be 7 times uh, n, which of course is 7n, and then 7 times 1. Again, if you're a little bit confused on this part, you need to review how to solve linear equations. All right, so this is our first step. So now we have 7n plus 7 is equal to 15. So the next step we want to do is uh, subtract 7 from both sides of the equation. And this format that I'm writing in is the format that you want to use as well. Okay, so if you're understanding the steps, but you would write your uh, steps differently, well, then that you're creating, um, you know, habits that you don't want to create. All right, a good uh, rule of thumb, and hopefully you have a strong math teacher, is the way your math teacher solves problems. Okay, and of course, most uh, math teachers are going to do it the way I'm doing. Uh, I've been doing this for four decades and dealing with math for a long, long, long time. So even the math that I've seen solved, right, uh, math problems being solved in the way I do math, it's just, you know, this is pretty much the format that you want to be using. So you want to be taking this format as well. You don't want your work to, you know, be different and, you know, of course, sloppy, all right? Neatness and organization and showing each step is critical in the solution process. All right, so here we want to isolate the 7n, so we're going to subtract uh, 7 from both sides of the equation just like this, and now what we're going to do is effectively um, add down in a column manner. So what do we have? We have 7n plus nothing is 7n. Positive 7 minus 7 is 0. We don't need to write that. And 15 minus 7, of course, is 8. Okay, so now we're down to this uh, lovely one-step equation. And to solve for n, all we need to do is divide both sides of the equation by 7, and we get n is equal to 8 sevenths. Okay, now let's suppose you're like, wow, I think I did this right. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, you might have an expression like this. You might be like, all right, I feel good about this, but maybe I should, you know, um, double check this, right? So how can I go about double checking this? Well, what we need to do is check this solution into this equation. Now here, this equation that we set up, you need to have high confidence that in fact, this is the correct algebraic translation of the problem, right? Seven uh, times the sum of a number plus one is 15. Well, that is the problem. So I feel good about the equation. Of course, we have the solution to the equation, but if you know that the equation is correct, what we can do is obviously check the solution. So let's go ahead and do that here real quick. And anytime you are taking a test or quiz and you have extra time, never, ever, ever turn in your quiz early, okay? Uh, I'll show you the rest of this here in a second because this is important. Let's say you take a test and you have 10 minutes left, right? Please don't be a hero and uh, go up there and turn your test into your teacher. Be like, look at me. I, I'm so good that I don't even need these extra 10 minutes. That is not smart, okay? Even if you did finish and it was easy, what you want to do is go back and if you have the time and if you have equations and things like this, double check your work, look for errors, okay? And of course, you can always check uh, your solutions to equations by plugging in your solution and, and, uh, and um, seeing if the, in fact, um, the solution that you got is uh, true. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, we're gonna take our solution and we're gonna plug it in for n. So we're saying n is equal to 8 sevenths. So we're gonna plug in, uh, we're gonna replace this n with 8 sevenths and what we're trying to determine once we plug in that uh, uh, variable for the solution here, is we're going to try to determine when I kind of clean up this uh, left-hand side, is it going to be equal to 15? In other words, am I going to simplify this whole thing and it's going to be equal to 15? If it is, well, then this solution is correct. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you how we could do that. So n is, of course, 8 over 7 uh, plus 1. So I know I'm going to be dealing with fractions, so I'm just going to 
change this one to seven over seven, right? Seven divided by seven is one. But the uh, reason I wrote it that way is because now we have the common denominators of seven. So I can add these two fractions, right? Uh, this will be eight plus seven, which of course is 15 over seven. All right, let me go ahead and give, uh, show you some more room here. Let's see if we can see the rest of the problem. So now we're down to seven times 15 over seven. Is this equal to 15? Well, when we do this multiplication, these sevens cross cancel and what do we have 15 is equal to 15 wow that is awesome so 15 is equal to 15 that's a true statement meaning that our solution is in fact a good solution okay so anyways you know um the main idea here you know the overarching i think point of this particular video is you got to know how to translate verbal situations into algebraic or variable situations. This is the essence of algebra, okay? Because we learn algebra to solve problems. You know, when you think about word problems, you're like, ah, I'm doing word problems. Well, word problems is nothing more than an application of the math you're learning. So if you're like, yeah, why do I have to learn this stuff? Well, you're learning math to solve problems. But you got to be able to make those translations, and sometimes it's a little tricky. But uh, the only way you're going to get better at this stuff is to practice. So hopefully this little video helped you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.